Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'd like to nerd out to the science behind how we can keep our houseplants happy and to multiply them in our homes. So if you're into that kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel and send me likes. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's gonna be a monologue style because we've reached 10,000 subscribers and I feel like I should share with you guys um, how this channel started, uh, where we're going with this channel, as well as a little bit about my plant journey and my plant philosophies. So yesterday my mom texted me uh, to let me know that she's very proud of me for this channel and if you're Asian you would know that these kinds of comments don't come very easily for an Asian parent. So thank you so much mom and I love you and I hope you are well. Uh, for those of you who are watching, my mom's actually in Taiwan right now. She's a little bit away from me and I miss her so much. So I will see you very soon hopefully. So some of you may be wondering about the channel name uh, Only Plants. And that's because one time I was posting a lot of plant photos on Facebook and I joked that I was going to do an OnlyFans page for plants. And if you're watching this video with your parents, do not Google that up. <laughs> so let's start with the why. Why did I start this channel? Um, first of all, I'm very excited about this plant journey because I've learned so much over a very short period of time. Uh, not only the science behind the plants and how they evolved and how we can replicate their uh, living conditions in our homes. Um, so I'm very, very excited about properly caring for them and to multiply them. And I'm also very happy when I hear other people having the same kind of success. So I've actually joined a few Facebook plant groups and a lot of people were troubleshooting and I actually realized that I love reading about these troubleshootings, these problems, and wherever possible I can try to chip in and help them. That's when I realized that I'm actually very passionate about your success in keeping houseplants uh, happy and alive. And one of the reasons is, first of all, obviously we want to spread the plant love, to have as many people as possible to uh, have all these plants growing in our homes so that we can eliminate you know, the use of maybe plastic plants and we can also beautify our homes. And at the same time, they serve sort of as a conservation of the species where you know a lot of these plants were taken from all over the world and their natural habitat is actually in compromise so having them in our homes um, really is, is quite a good thing to do and also i would like to spark a huge demand in plants uh, so if everybody decides that they want to uh, get into house plants more will be in cultivation and more species will also be uh, in cultivation so i hope that this channel will impact more people into a more and more diverse kind of uh, plant species care and also for the growers to start um, filling in these demands and hopefully at some point the prices will also be a lot more affordable than they are now. And the next point is that I wanted to raise awareness that there are actually a huge diversity of plant uh, species in this world available and they all deserve our care and attention. And understanding how they evolved and understanding the natural world that we live in and the different environments there are and the diverse numbers of people there are it makes us better people for example when we're in tune with our own environment like understanding you know how the sun moves in our own space and airflow and humidity and rain and all that stuff when we're in tune with that it just makes us better people and happier people and smarter people too and I wanted to create these videos not only to educate you guys but also to entertain you guys and bring you some comfort at these times of hardships. And the next reason is for me. Uh, I'm actually really afraid of public speaking and I have been for a very long time. Uh, if you've watched my earlier videos, you'll notice that I stammer a lot and my grammar is just jumbled because I get so nervous. I speak three languages, so <laughs> I don't process language the same ways that most of you guys do. And for the most part, uh, with my professional work, uh, and where I live, I live away from the city. I actually keep to myself a lot. I don't open my mouth and I don't talk to people a lot at all. So uh, this, this channel really brings me an opportunity to be able to express myself, to learn, uh, to gain confidence in talking because that's a very, very important skill. And you guys are actually motivating me to get my ass off the couch to start learning and exploring, uh, whether it's learning about different species and care uh, like bromeliads and orchids, which, which I have no experience in, but I feel obligated to get um, in-depth research into them so I could share those with you as soon as I get them right. 
and also to take you guys to this beautiful nursery tours around Indonesia. I may not have had the motivation to do that if I was just going by myself. So thank you guys for coming along with me. Um, I've also learned a lot about video and audio editing. I have no experience prior to this, uh, six weeks ago. And if you saw my videos, um, which is not a lot of them actually, the qualities are constantly improving. So I believe that as, as humans, um, we should learn something every day and our work should impact uh, others. So that brings a lot of meaning and joy to me. Lastly, I would like to take this platform to build a community uh, where we can come together and talk about plants, uh, plant care and uh, tips and hacks and things like that. Because our experience is important when we share our knowledge with one another, it makes us better plant parents. And this allows us to multiply our plants better and to share them with one another. And when you guys are letting me know where you're coming from, uh, what part of the world you're coming from, that's amazing because it lets me know that we're not alone, that this world is huge, it's diverse, and we all have different methods and different philosophies behind uh, our plant care. So thank you, and it's very, very nice to meet all of you. So some of you may be wondering a little bit about my uh, biography or background. Uh, I actually was born here in Jakarta, Indonesia, and I left here when I was six years old uh, to move to Singapore, where I studied primary and secondary school, which is equivalent to high school. And then when I was 16, I moved to the US. Uh, I started in Washington State and then in Florida where I did film uh, school. But I dropped out within a semester because I realized that it just wasn't for me. And then I changed to a fashion uh, design degree in New York City. So I spent a total of eight years in college, uh, switching around different majors. Again, thank you, thanks to my parents for all this patience because it's not very easy to put up with, with me. Also, I want to digress a little bit and talk about my uh, high school years where I was actually in a pure science program in Singapore where it's very intense uh, science uh, courses and I was the worst student in class. Um, I, w I want to take this opportunity to thank all my teachers who, who, who has been patient with me. And if you're currently a teacher or a student struggling, just keep in mind that, you know, maybe the student is not getting you're getting through you're not getting through to the student right now but in the long run you know every student will appreciate their teacher and a lot of the knowledge will actually come in hand uh, so please be patient and uh, keep on teaching and for those of you uh, for students keep on learning keep on being curious and, and don't you know don't be impatient with your teachers they're trying to do the best they're trying to build a better world for for us so yeah i digress a bit um, when I finished my fashion design degree in New York City, I started a menswear collection, a menswear brand, sorry. And I was there for about two years, and then the recession hit in 2009. That's when I decided I did not want to be in a, you know, in a new business when the recession hit the, the US. So at that time, I decided to move to the, the biggest eco upcoming economy, which is China. I moved to Shanghai and I lived there for about five years where I continued to do my uh, menswear clothing brand. And there I learned a lot about manufacturing. I also learned about uh, photography. I, I did photography for all my fashions. And I've actually been a, a photography nerd since I was a kid. So I've been tinkering around with cameras and, and all that stuff. So then I decided at some point to move back to Indonesia about five to six years ago to help my parents business here. and. Sometimes we just don't get along with our parents in a professional setting and I, th I thank them for the opportunity and I hope that you know they like having me around here in Indonesia. Uh, but I decided after two years working in my uh, dad's company to, to sort of struggle on my own. Like I was looking around, knocking on doors, trying to find jobs. Um, and I, I had, a, I had a, uh, a year working in an e-commerce platform uh, related to fashion photography and then I started my own uh, fashion photography business I'm also I learned about soap making and natural skincare so that's my second business I'm currently running two businesses and just last month I started this, this YouTube channel so you can imagine how crazy busy I am and super stressed out I am because um, believe it or not YouTube actually takes a lot of time not only do I have to prepare 
the plant material. I'm actually writing the notes too, so I have to think about what I wanted to say to you guys beforehand. And the actual filming process, waiting for the right lighting, actually it's, look at the clock. It's 8.45 a.m. right now, and the sun is just coming in through my window, and I know that past a certain time, this room would be a little bit darker and I would not be able to film. Uh, so, um, the video editing and the sound editing, my goodness, those take a lot of time. So, uh, I'm actually in the middle of a career change uh, because I did uh, this pandemic and also this YouTube channel started to get me thinking about my priorities and what makes me happy. And this makes me happy. So I will, I will update you on, on sort of the changes and sort of decision making that I'm, I'm the dilemmas that I'm facing. Uh, in case you guys are curious to see my struggles and, and this transition period of my career. And for my business partners and my staff, thank you so much because as I'm working on, on my plants, as I become obsessed with this uh, plant uh, hobby and also now a profession, they're pulling in more weight at, at work. So I want to thank you guys so much for taking that extra responsibility. All right, so for the most part, the comments uh, have been very kind, but once in a while I get a little bit of snarky comments uh, that let me know that maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe I'm a bit neglectful. And as I explained earlier, uh, like I have way too many plants, that's becoming a problem. But at the same time, I also have so much, so much, so much work. I don't have time for myself. I don't hang out with my friends. Uh, so I'm literally pouring every minute that I have on, on my business and also on my plan. So I'm doing whatever I can. And I just want to remind you again, in every intro, I mentioned that I like to nerd out to the science behind how to keep our health plans happy. I never did mention that I have beautiful Instagrammable plants. I never also mentioned that I'm a perfect plant parent because I'm far from it. So I hope that you guys will forgive my mistakes um, if I've made it, said anything wrong. Uh, and I will definitely write uh, in the description down below if there are any changes to what I've said in the video. Or in the later video, I may even do like a, like a top 10 mistakes that I've done before, that I've said before. Um, so I wanna ask for forgiveness, first of all, that I'm not a perfect plant parent. Uh, and to let you know where I'm coming from. And none of us, I, I believe, in my heart that none of us are actually perfect plant parents. So there you have it. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my plant journey because I find it exciting. Um, I've actually killed a lot of plants and I've constantly told people like, I have no green thumb, I'm a plant killer and all that stuff. Um, so last year I actually got a Monstera in my photo studio, uh, Monstera Deliciosa. And I just kind of left it alone um, in the studio and I watered it whenever I can and it grew, it grew so much. And we used the, the leaves for some, some of the photographies and they looked just so beautiful. And, and I'm just constantly surprised by the growth and how easy it is. And then one day I looked up propagation. Oh my God, that just changed the whole game. Uh, so I started propagating Celia. Celia is the name of a Monstera Deliciosa, which I've, you've seen before in my houseplant tour, tours. There's many of her now all over the place. I've given her to so many people. So that, that brings me a lot of joy, by the way, sharing. So I once cut Celia by, on the patio at the first time, on, at first, uh, to, and uh, without the note, and I got it wrong. So I looked it up, researched, and I went, oh, you know, you actually need the note. And I started to, trying it again, waited five or six weeks, and it rooted. And I just, that just changed my plant game completely. I just learned that actually, if you do your research, you can keep any plants alive. And if you're willing to do a little bit of hacks, moving them around, maybe it may be inconvenient for you, but you really do need to give them the conditions to live. And if you do, they will 100% success, live and thrive. So that's a, a tip for you, do your research. And when those Monstera propagations took, everything exploded. I started buying plants left and right, and all of them were from online, by the way. I bought them very cheap on Tokopedia. That's why I grew so many, uh, uh, my collection so fast. Uh, I just bought a lot of different types of pots, different types of uh, soil mix, and I spent hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of hours uh, researching on Google and on YouTube. By the way, uh, I wanna thank all the plant YouTubers, as well as the podcasts who've given me so much knowledge on plants. Uh, and if you guys haven't yet, please do uh, check out other resources because 
I don't even think I'm the best YouTuber out there. There's so many people with so much really cool information. Uh, and I, again, recommend for you to check those out. And another thing that ignited my interest in houseplant is uh, with photography. When I can get up close and, and personal, when I can document their growth pattern, like this one is coming out with a cigar right here. Um, it just stuns me. It just amazes me that you know uh, nature is so beautiful and the fact that I can have my Instagram platform to share this uh, creativity and joy with the world that just uh, blew my mind and, and it pushes me forward in this plant journey and so I went from actually three plants last um, October which is about 10 months ago and now I have over 700 plants again I bought them cheap on Tokopedia and sometimes on Instagram and I, I keep propagating them that's why you, you just the collection just keeps expanding i also wanted to share with you guys that more doesn't mean better like a lot of you guys have let me know that oh you know you're so lucky you live in high humidity first of all when you live in high, high humidity place a lot of plants actually rot <laughs> here so just saying so you know, we have different sets of problems here um, but when i have so many plants it's actually starting to give me a lot of anxiety now and a lot of stress so i may actually do something with them soon i may either uh, sell some of them uh, away or yeah in fact that's probably what I'm gonna do because I can't imagine how I'm gonna be able to get rid of uh, a lot of the plants uh, I need to start learning how to let go and and be happy with what plants I have instead of uh, keep scrolling at the stores and, and looking at the nurseries and, and drooling at all the plants I don't have because some of frankly speaking some of my own plants are a little bit neglected I like this ornata here. This came in a better shape. It came banged up and then I rescued it and it was so beautiful. And now I'm starting to see brown edges again because I, I just water, water it whenever I remember. I don't even uh, check on them that much anymore. So I'm, again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm in the middle of a career transition. I would really like to do this full time. So uh, I'll post, uh, I'll update you guys on, on how that's going. So I'm going to discuss uh, what's to come, what to expect from this channel, uh, starting with obviously the, the most obvious, which is going to be uh, uh, plant care videos, propagation, plant rescue, nursery tours, home tours. And if you look at my propagation videos and my tour videos, I actually uh, update you guys a lot. I mention updates because it's very important for, for us to learn about uh, the, the plants and how they're doing, uh, whether they're suffering or whether they're doing well and why. That's super important. And I'm doing my propagation videos a little bit differently. Not only am I showing you how I'm propagating them, I'm actually waiting for a few months to give you an update on how those cuttings are doing. Uh, I actually have a huge stockpile of videos of plants that I've already propagated and I'm just waiting for the update to show you. Uh, what species they are, that's a secret for me to know. I'm not gonna spoil it for you here. I also, I also have a lot of really, really cool video ideas that I haven't seen around uh, on YouTube. So I'm very excited to share those with you guys. And those are gonna be very informative and hopefully it'll also make you smile or laugh. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to post my video on a schedule and that's going to be on Thursday and Fridays uh, or Thursday or Saturdays, uh, midnight in Jakarta. This is about uh, noon in New York time just so in case you guys are wondering when my next video is because some of you are always asking like when is it coming and yeah those are <laughs> those are just my schedules uh, as I mentioned a few times earlier I may actually start a business uh, related to plants uh, whether it's just on YouTube uh, as a content creator or maybe even as a, a plant show shop even though there's so many of those but I do have an interesting idea of doing a plant cutting store. That means that a store that only sells cuttings and you have to propagate the plants on your own. Let me know how you, what do you think about that? But I'm, first of all, I'm gonna focus on uh, local market first because exporting plants is a whole new game and I don't, there's also a lot of drama going on right now with, with, the, with the world, with rare plants and all that stuff, with, with international shipping. And I don't wanna be caught in that, <laughs> in that game, so maybe, over time, I might think about that, but for now, I would like to contribute more to the local market first. And I also have a lot of uh, products that I'm developing, whether it's a plant styling type uh, you know, pots. And I've, I have hanging baskets that I'm trying to uh, create on my own, uh, insecticidal soaps, 
really interesting moss poles or just different products that I'm uh, that are related to plant care and plant styling that I may I may do I'm not sure yet so stay tuned and when our world recovers from COVID I really hope to be able to organize uh, time swap because I don't think there's been any major plant plant swap uh, events here in Jakarta Indonesia uh, there may be I don't know I'm new to the game so <laughs> yeah uh, Actually, I mentioned this to some of my friends before, uh, plant, plant friends on Instagram, and they were just like, ah, oh, you know, when you do that in Indonesia, you're gonna end up with snobby plant people. Let me give you an assurance for now. When I do a plant swap event, it will not be full of snobby people because you're not welcome in the plant swap. <laughs> it sounds snobbish when I say that. I'm sorry. It did not come up, I didn't intend to come up that way. But here's the thing, like, I believe that plant swap should be about sharing the joy of plants um, and being open-minded about discovering new species, meeting new people. And sometimes even when you have a rare plant, how nice would it be to give a cutting to someone who may never be able to attain that cutting or, or afford that cutting? It would bring so much joy. So, you know, in the future, again, if we have a, a plant swap event, which I will announce, I hope to attract the right kind of crowd, okay? And if it hasn't become apparent to you yet, um, this channel is not going to be about you know, your rare philodendrons and all that. I'm always going to uh, highlight a lot of the underrated plants as well, uh, giving them a, a center stage, giving them a voice. Uh, so that, because all plants are truly fascinating on their own right, just because they're not on Instagram, just because nobody talks about it, it doesn't mean they're, they're not interesting. Just because they're cheap, it doesn't mean that they're boring. So sorry to say that. Uh, so when uh, the world opens up again, I really would love to travel uh, and give you guys a lot of planty contents, whether it's in Singapore or Thailand or the Philippines or India. Those would be so interesting because I've actually, I traveled a lot before the pandemic, but I was not a plant, uh, crazy plant dad <laughs> before that. So I didn't bring my camera with me. I, I wasn't looking, I wasn't even looking at plants. I just walked by. I've been to Kirsten Bosch uh, Botanical Garden in Cape Town. Was it Cape? Yeah, Cape Town. I've been to the Gardens by the Bay in Singapore, and I was just like, I was just chilling. I wasn't even interested in plants back then. But these days, when I go there, oh my goodness, I would have a totally different vibe and energy and different um, level of, I don't know what's the right word, different level of enthusiasm a different level of enthusiasm with, with plants. And I'm really interested in how plants are being managed in public spaces like your uh, malls and airports. Like, How do they survive in those lighting conditions? Do they get rotated out? Uh, so if you uh, have any connections in there, do let me know. I'm really interested to do a tour and an interview. I'm also very interested in uh, plant production and manufacturing, whether it is you know, through propagations by cuttings or seed, or even um, tissue culture. So I hope that one day I'll be able to take you guys to those places uh, and we can learn uh, the process together. And if any of you are watching who, are, who have connection with botanical gardens or conservatories related to plants, and maybe if there's an internship opportunity, uh, whether it's a few weeks or a few months, I would really like to know about those because I would love the opportunity to be able to uh, learn and take care of some plants and also maybe take my audience with me to, in that experience to, to learn about the behind the scenes uh, at, at these uh, wonderful places because I believe that their work is so important and there's so many things that we can learn from them. And a lot of you guys have actually asked me if I sell my plants or if I knew as nurseries that will ship the plants internationally to them because, because you guys are all over the world. And unfortunately, I can't make any recommendations because I don't want to be responsible for any, anything that goes wrong with the shipping or anything like that. However, because so many of you guys are asking me that, I may compile a, a, a few sellers here, some of the uh, bigger ones, and I may do a tour there so I can show you the plants and how they manage the plants and even how they ship the plants or even have them talk about phytosanitary certifications and why they're so difficult to get, maybe the process, so, so you guys can better understand a little bit about the, the exporting side of plants from Indonesia. Because I know that you guys are always worried about the, the import side, like how am I gonna receive them, how am I going to customs? 
but you guys are not um, familiar with what happens before the plants are, are being shipped out so that could be very useful for you guys I would actually really like to use this platform to be able to raise awareness um, or even raise some money for charity uh, for example someone contacted me I can't I'll put the name on the screen the Instagram account but it's basically a correctional facility or a, a prison system and they are having their inmates uh, care for plants uh, over there so it's rehabbing the inmates through the, the joy of plants and that is such a beautiful thought because I believe that our justice system is oftentimes unfair I'm sorry I don't mean to get so political and a lot of people who are in prison who actually are functioning members of the society who are otherwise who are lost they're lost lambs and you know they they can be guided and they just need to find a better purpose with their lives so maybe uh, horticulture is one way for, for them to find some peace while they're doing their time as well as learn some new skills that will help them along in, in their lives after they are released. Um, and I can't think of any other charities but I'm sure there are that I would really love to work with whether it's cons conservation of species or just just raising awareness you know so if you have any connection on that do reach out to me I will give you the spotlight. Channel etiquette. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the do's and don'ts in, in this channel. Uh, some of you may, may not agree with me, but please bear with me on that. Uh, for the most part, the comments have been kind and positive and encouraging. And it's not that I'm fishing for only positive comments. I believe that I may have said something wrong or done something wrong in my videos. But it's just the, the way that you say it. Like, you know, for example, uh, some of you may comment like, Oh, you know, you should be doing this and this is. And if you just change your language to I would have done da 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 or just some, it, rephrase it so that it's, it's kinder, it's maybe a little bit more thoughtful because you may be wrong about it too. Yeah, there's no... Our growing conditions are also different. Like what works in your condition may not work in mine. So just be mindful of that. I would never come up to someone and let them know like Oh, you're doing this all wrong. Like you must... I would never do that to any of you so just be mindful of, of the language there second of all do not hit on me <laughs> I, I know I said that before but um, yeah I don't really know what to do with that when that happens um, first of all I want to be taken seriously and professionally and when people hit on me they just kind of undermines my professional attitude towards uh, this YouTube thing and also I'm a very shy person and I don't know how to respond to that I don't respond to that very well at all so just let you know um, you can hit on me if you're a plant <laughs> how's that and the next point uh, I may step on some people's toes when I say it but bear in mind that I don't mean any negativity or anything when I say this but um, don't send me your plant pictures unless it's like a dire emergency uh, again I want to apologize if this came off wrong first of all there's so many uh, comments that I can't really keep up with everybody and second of all I'm getting a lot of DMs on Instagram and I really would love to get to all of them trust me I want to get to all of you but I'm the kind of person that have to read everything and respond to everything <laughs> that's just my personality so I, if you send me uh, plant photos uh, and there's some issues or problems I would like to help but if you're just genuinely being excited about you know, a plant that you got or anything um, yeah maybe um, post that on your feed and, uh, and whatever however platform that you have to share with them and I, I do understand I'm oh my god this is this is becoming so hard like Okay, let me put it simply, like I actually don't even look at my own plants. I don't have time, like I'm running around the house and I have like an hour or two hour max to take care of them and a lot of them are actually neglected. And then I'm off to my work, I'm doing my businesses uh, and then I'm doing my YouTube videos and then I'm trying to reply as many comments as possible. So when you guys are just showing me your plants for no apparent reason, it's just taking time off from the other things that I'm neglecting. I don't know if that makes sense. Sorry if, if I, yeah, I, again, this is a bit weird for me to say and I, I meant that in a very positive way. I don't mean that in a, in a very like close-minded way, but yeah, but I'm, for most of you who have problems with your plans and you're in dire need of help, definitely do send me 
photos like and because that will help me identify the issue better and some of you actually have sent me photos of plants and asking me for plant ID and I would say 80% of the time I actually know what it is I do share but I want to also let you guys know that there's a better resource for that uh, and that is the Facebook plant group so I really recommend for you to join some um, plant groups and even the ones like okay some of them are general plants so it's going to be general plant ID and care and, and troubleshooting and things like that but they're also very specific plant groups like you have your you know, fern group, you have your philodendron group, you have a calathea groups. The calathea groups are so much fun. They always have the same problems. Do not miss your plants, you guys. There's always the same problem like, oh, I miss my plants and they're like browning and, and the calatheas are dying. Do not miss your calatheas if you live indoors, period. Okay, so, but those things are fun. So if you're into species, even species that you don't care for, that you're curious about, just go on their Facebook or the begonia groups or whatever and look at the species that people are posting about look about the plant troubleshooting and see if that plant is right for you and see if you're having the same problem with that species. So I do recommend those as a resource, uh, especially for plant ID. If you don't know, <laughs> back to my point, if you don't know what plant this is uh, and you post it on that group, you'll get a result within uh, minutes. Uh, so yeah, try not to ask me for a plant ID because I'm not, I'm not a plant ID app. I guess. No, I don't use those apps, but I, and I don't mean that in a crude way. Again, it's just like I, I, again, I was telling you before, I don't really have that much time. And I'm running this by myself. I'm running my businesses and all, all, all this stuff. Sorry, I'm just rambling on. So forgive me if I, if I sound negative. I don't mean to come out that way. Um, yeah. And the last thing that's on my mind um, is that um, actually my, my majority of my viewers are from overseas. I can say like about 30 something percent is from the United States and Philippines is, is uh, the next uh, top, uh, top watched uh, country. Uh, thank you guys so much, by the way. I'm really happy to be connected to the world. And I've actually gotten a few snarky comments from Indonesian uh, people. And I, maybe it does, it, they don't mean to be snarky, but the message just sounded a bit snarky. And it's just usually short on the comments, just saying, speak in Bahasa. That in Bahasa is our Indonesian language. And um, first of all, I have to apologize because um, my Indonesian language is not good at all. I left Indonesia when I was six years old. I came back here five years ago. Uh, your English is probably better than my Bahasa. And I really would like to dedicate this channel, and it's my choice, and I hope you respect that, to an international audience. This is so that other people can look at our plants in Indonesia to, to see what we have and how plant care look like here, so that people from Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, other parts of Southeast Asia can understand me and under what I'm talking about. So I hope that you guys are not taking offense that I am not uh, speaking Bahasa in this channel, or if. Another thing is uh, with Indonesian subs is that subs take time. I would have to hire a professional translator and I would have to delay my video release for a few days uh, because sub have to be edited in correctly. So yeah, please forgive me. Like, uh, and I also wanted to highlight to you guys that actually, I'm, and this is something I'm very proud of, is that Indonesians, we are everywhere. We live in all over the world and we speak, some of us speak different languages. Some of us speak Indonesian and French. Some of us speak, you know, we, we live in, we, we are represented all over the world and not just here in Indonesia. And in fact, a lot of the citizens here are also expats. You know, people who have married into an Indonesian uh, citizenship who don't speak Bahasa. So I want you to be mindful of that, that we are a diverse uh, country and that our our reach is international. So again, I want to, I want to ask for forgiveness if I, I don't speak Bahasa in here. However, on a positive note, I want to take this opportunity to open up uh, sort of a opportunity maybe if some one of you want to do an Indonesian version of my channel and you're willing to do all the subs in Indonesia or even a voiceover, we can talk about that. I mean, that would be amazing. Uh, also, if you are thinking about, uh, if you're Indonesian and you're thinking about sharing your plant love and care in Bahasa, that would be so amazing because guys, there is a demand. A lot of Indonesians 
do uh, want to have this kind of representation in our country in Bahasa Indonesian language. So do come forward if you have any questions about how to set up a channel. I will I'll do my best to help you. And yeah, let's build this Indonesian uh, plant community together. Okay, so you're probably wondering uh, how you can help the channel, how you can get involved. Um, the first thing that you can do is spread the word. Again, uh, there are probably a lot of plant lovers out there who hasn't found my channel yet and who may find my uh, resources useful or who may be entertained by my videos that I work very hard for. Um, and the second thing that you can actually do, which a lot of you don't know, is that YouTube actually shares uh, advertising revenues with me. So when you watch the ads on your videos, uh, to completion, by the way, if you are skipping the ads, YouTube doesn't give me squat. So if you watch the ads or you leave them running in the background, uh, that means that YouTube is paying me quite a bit of money, actually. So if you want to uh, do it, you know, absolutely, that's one way that you can help. Um, like this video, <laughs> comment down below, and absolutely, please do subscribe because when you do all these things, it um, lets YouTube know, to, it's, it's algorithm know, to uh, recommend my videos to other people so that my video will pop up on other people's recommended feeds. So yeah, I really hope that you can continue to support me as I grow this channel, as I produce more uh, content that is interesting uh, for you guys. Uh, meanwhile, I hope that you guys can stay safe and uh, take care and some really cool episodes are coming up next. So I'll see you then.